Hello and welcome to Brandon Plays games and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to be doing a let's play in this video of a game called Lost City by a developer known as Lilith Zone. Lilith Zone, that's how you say it. Lilith Zone is a little kind of an unknown developer. I had never heard of her. Um, until a few days ago, actually, and I found this little interesting concoction, this little interesting world that uh, she had made, and it just really struck me. If you go to her website or her Twitter, it's just very bizarre, and there isn't a lot of information uh, on this developer. She kind of keeps herself shrouded in secrecy and sort of ethereal effervescence, if that's a phrase that I can use. Um, sort of like how this game looks. Um, one thing I want to show you about this game um, that's really cool that you saw probably in the intro is this idling animation, which is just this kind of spy versus spy character. A little bit of a pop-up in that block in the background there. Um, if anyone's ever read those Mad Magazine spy versus spy cartoons, um, this character kind of reminds me of that, except for with a dress. And as you can see, um, or you might hear my girlfriend in the background is trying to learn Japanese. Um, so if you hear anybody speaking Japanese, that's probably going to be her. Um, this is a really just fascinating world, and I keep on falling down this little thing because I'm not paying attention. We're gonna, the purpose of this game, here, I'm gonna show you. We, the, we have these little glyph guys, and these are our friends, and then we have to befriend them um, using this little um, menu here. Rin chirps in a happy mood. And then we have three options in this, in this menu here. We've got skull, heart, and tear. Now, since I played this game before, and I've gotten good at figuring out what the hell you're supposed to do here, and um, since, Rin is in a happy mood, and we're going to go with heart. It's uncertain but hopeful. Dreams of happy zone. Wishes on star. Wants to meet you to meet her family. She's coming on to us a little strong. Great. And as you can see, what just happened is we befriended the little glyph guy, and now they're waiting for us at the train station. And the object of this game is to get all of the... befriend all of the little glyph people in this very um, bizarre, kind of brutalist world, and bring them to the train station. Um, so that we may call upon the shadow deity, who I'm assuming is pals with our little friend here. Um, and so there's not much to it other than that. I'll show you. Let's meet this little winky-eyed friend here. Talk. <laughs> Weeps, obviously. So since they're weeping, we should probably give them a tear. Bored with tear. Anything less predictable? Skull. Uh, let's see. That's not good. If you if you start messing up, you can hit escape. Wow, there's a lot inside your heart. Aww. Okay. Now, what I really like about this is that it's not a dialogue tree or any sort of weird dialogue menu because those always feel contrived to me when I can't say exactly what I want. But since everything is sort of abstracted, all the interactions with the characters are abstracted um, into these moods, uh, mood boards, essentially. I'm not like you'd find on Tumblr, but a mood board. Um, you have to pay attention to the character's emotions and sort of uh, base your decisions on that rather than um, choosing predestined dialogue, um, which can feel, you know, like I said, kind of lame or, you know, taking away agency. So, so I like that. Um, and just the look of this world, I really love, um, and she's going to start singing again. I really, so we're going to do a little dance. I really just love these particles and this gray washed out sky and the sort of bizarre um, geometry, almost like this t city was just lost because it's a lost city. 
um, destroyed or something. And you, it, I don't know if we can see him from here, but there are these like people statues that are sort of cut off of the torso and just kind of strewn around and stuff like that. Um, so kind of implying that there might have been another race of perhaps uh, or species of people that existed here before the glyphs came. Um, and the glyphs have sort of t taken over. But we're going to try to befriend some of the other people here. Talk. Oh. 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 Let's see. Let's give him a skull. This guy looks like a skull. He likes the way the skull reminds it of itself. Tries to sell you, you <laughs> your own skull. What a scam. His skull is serious business. And if you notice, the the actions are kind of in uh, brackets, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's some kind of linguist thing. If I was a linguist, maybe I'd be able to tell you. But I'm not. All right, so we have to find one more friend, I think. Yes, before the train arrives. Um, so this is my first Let's Play video, um, so be gentle. We're going to reenact uh, Stand By Me here. And I was thinking of doing um, kind of walkthrough, not walkthroughs, but Let's Plays and kind of mini reviews of kind of sub-indie games that don't have a lot of playthrough. Oh, there he is. He's up on the housetop. Click, click, click. Um, don't have a lot of reviews or a lot of people playing them. Um, just really interesting um, projects. Oh, see, there's one of the, the human sculptures I was talking, telling you about before. Um, I love these, these <laughs> kind of ruin type textures. And I don't know what these are supposed to be, like sleeping units? It almost looks like, now that I look at it, it's kind of like the sleeping units on a train car. So maybe, in fact, we're in a train of some sort, waiting for a train. Now that's pretty meta. All right, let's go up here. So yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot of stuff um, by different uh, kind of sub-indie developers. Um, uh, stuff that I guess you just cut uh, on little fun projects like this that I just the atmosphere of this is just so creepy and and cute and you know the that dull soundtrack and her haunting um, not dull and bo isn't boring but her kind of haunting and ethereal voice just really really creative stuff I feel like this person's gonna want to cry Nope. <laughs> Just wonderful sound effects. Um, whoa. Okay, so the train is here, and we're about to do one of my favorite things in video games, and that's to ride public transit. Um, there's not a lot of video games where you can ride public transit, um, or a lot of games don't capture the feeling of riding public transit very well, I think. So, but I think this game does, and uh, we're gonna show you that in a second. So now we're riding a train through this sort of deserted, eerie metropolis. It just kind of goes on forever. This mist hovering. Um, it's a really beautiful little cutscene. Um, when I was when I was younger, I used to have these dreams where I was uh, riding a train through these sort of abstract landscapes on top of a train car, and that just totally reminded me of that. Um, this is a really cool indoor environment. Um, so this is a short, this is just a, a short little game. Um, we're about to, with the help of our friends, who you can see have assembled on top of these uh, pillars, we're going to summon the shadow deity by knocking these cubes into the center here, as you would any shadow deity. And here is the shadow deity's uh, left, or I was right arm. And there 
There's the other arm. And here's the head. And there's our little shadow deity. And that takes us to the end of the game where the shadow deity and the little creature just kind of stare at us and sing, um, happy to be reunited with each other. So, yeah, and that's the end, as you can see by the uh, little text up in the corner. It's um, a wonderful experiment in atmosphere. It's a it's an interesting use of um, seeing what you can do with with dialogue um, and, and character interaction that isn't just a dia your traditional dialogue tree. I could totally see that mechanic being expanded upon. Um, and while the animation is, you know, you know, albeit a bit crude, um, I think it totally evokes a really uh, beautiful sense of longing, but also kind of, uh, and, 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 you know, being haunted, but also sort of a, a relaxing, um, almost uh, childlike and... and, and uh, yeah, uh, childlike uh, sense of, of the sublime. Um, so this was Lost City by Lilith Zone. And if you want to keep on watching uh, me play strange little uh, pieces of fiction like this, then uh, keep watching some of the other videos. And that that's all you have to do. Thanks, and see you later.